Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone Today I would like to continue my speech on the title of Danger of Shirk So last, last time we left off at the types of Shirk And now I will continue with the impacts of committing Shirk So committing Shirk has several impacts according to Islamic belief The first one is spiritual consequences Shirk, well, as you know, is considered a major sin and is a violation of the core principle of Islamic monotheism. It weakens a person's relationship with Allah and hinders their spiritual growth. It prevents a person from attaining true faith and rewards associated with it. As it also can impact someone by if they commit shirk, especially major shirk, it can make them uh, kafir. Or, or murtad, or in English would be apostate or uh, other perverted or something like that. And the second would be nullification of good deeds. Committing shirk can nullify all the good deeds a person has done. In Islam, it is believed that associating partners with Allah negates a person's actions in rendering them futile and without reward. So, compet- so committing shirk, like I said before, it can make someone uh, perverted from Islam. So, a person that is perverted from Islam, which means a person uh, that is not a Muslim, or kafir, in other words, infidel, uh, cannot be, cannot, they don't get uh, rewards no matter what they do. The third would be eternal consequences. Uh, shirk is considered a grave sin in Islam, and it is believed that those who die while committing shirk will deprive of their lives and be destined for hellfire in the afterlife. So they are not allowed to go to heaven at all because they are in the kafir uh, or in an infidel, and they will be destined to will be destined to go to hell. So in the afterlife, or in other say after the end of times or kiamat. Next is Islam also emphasizes the importance of monotheism and the severe consequences of associating partners with Allah. So the fourth is distortion of belief system. Shirk corrupts a belief, a person's belief system, and dev- dev- deviates them from the true teachings of Islam. As uh, shirk use in major, especially major shirk, makes you believe you makes you believe that there are multiple gods or you like believing multiple gods yes and also it introduces false concepts and practices that go against the monotheistic nature of the religion and there are many false concepts practices and that and a lot a lot of other things that goes against the teachings of the religion the true teachings and the fifth is social and moral impacts implications sorry Committing shirk can have negative effects on a person's morale and social behavior. It can lead to arrogance, idolization of worldly, worldly possessions, and a lack of moral values. Shirk can also create divisions within communities and lead to conflicts and misunderstandings. And it is important to note that these impacts are based on Islamic beliefs and may not be applicable in other religions, religious, or cultural contexts. Yes. So. There are some of the impacts of the committing shirk, and I will continue to a story. So the story is about Prophet Noah or Nu and his people. According to Islamic tradition, Prophet Noah or Nu was sent by Allah to guide his people to the worship of the one true God. However, the people of Noah deviated from the path of monotheism and began engaging in various forms of shirk. Uh, so before Prophet Noah was born, there were a few, less, I think, like five, four, or six people that were that were pious or very very religious, and when they died, the people of Noah made statues of them, and then 
uh, after that they started to worship him and then Allah sent prophet Noah to get his people back to wor- to get his people back to worshiping Allah alone and leave the prayer the prayer from leave behind worshiping to <coughs> the statues and instead they decide to go to just stay away they didn't listen only a few and then they started to worship idols like I said and false de- deities alongside Allah and their society become engulfed in corruption and immorality despite Prophet Noah's efforts to guide them the people persisted in their disbelief and refused to abandon their idolatrous practices Allah eventually revealed to Prophet Noah that a great fault would be sent to punish the people for their shirk and disobedience and Prophet Noah spent years building an ark as a means of, for, of salvation for those who would believe in Allah and follow him and along the process people his people that is then that wasn't his followers laughed at him mocked him and did many other many other things and when the flood finally arrived only Prophet Noah and his followers who had joined him and on the ark and also some animals who are also there with him were saved while the rest of his people were drowned the story of Prophet Noah and the people of Noah serves as a warning against the consequences of shirk and the importance of import- importance or of monotheism and, the, and it emphasizes the severity of associating partners with Allah and the need to adhere the true teachings of Islam and well maybe it is all from me Thank you for listening. If I have many mistakes in the second and first part, I say sorry. Let's say, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.